Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This has been a long time coming. It's me, Professor Dad, and Professor Gio. And we are here with a science activity, guys. This is gonna be a fun and cool one today. I would like to thank all the subscribers who um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and all the likes y'all guys been sending us and all the comments. We appreciate that, guys. Um, so we're going to keep this ball rolling. We're going to keep giving you some good old fun time science activities, okay? All right, guys, buckle up your seatbelts because it's going to be a fun ride. I can't say bumpy. I can't say bumpy. All right, guys, for today's science activity, this is coming from, you want to grab that? Be careful, don't slide it. This is, what is, what is this? Wow, environmental science, guys. Um, this is going to be really fun. I, you can tell this is going to be kind of fun. Look, look at the, is that like um, a cell? Yeah, that's a sale. But yeah, we're gonna get into this, guys. Let's enjoy it. All right, it's yeah. This is a man. What we got going on here? I see like a lot of crime scene tape. Uh, just, There's uh, like poisons or secret messages, like ink pads, tracing magnifier, glowing security inks, glowing uh, fingerprints. And uh, guys, you have to be ages eight and up to do this. All right, we're gonna get started. Let's open this thing up and see what we got going on. You want to do the honors, yeah. Professor Gio? Right here. Lift that up. That part is like ah, we need scissors. Okay, cut this side over here. All right, let's get it open. Let's do this side. Looks like tape. There we go. There we go. All right, now I'll open that bag way up. All right, guys, we just emptied out the box. Nothing left in here. Empty. And look at all this cool supplies we have. Okay, guys, we are. Look at this. Yellow tape. Yellow tape for the crime scene, guys. The crime scene. We got powder for fingerprints. Oh, yeah. Somebody is going to be getting in trouble. We're going to do a lot of investigating. And we have ooh, DNA. Yes, we will be taking samples of your body. Yes, we got to make sure everything goes right. We want to get the bad guys out of there and the good guys in here. Yes, we are gonna find. What else we have? Uh, sodium. Okay. Citric acid. Citric acid. Oh, citric acid. Okay. Let's get started with this, guys. Look at this. Here's the instructions. All right. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, guys. For the first activity. Wow. You found a note from the criminal. Or it can be a drop of blood that contains the DNA of a victim or a criminal. The forensic technique reveals the secrets locked inside. Okay. Um, I guess it's saying uh, before the activity, we supply two water mark, two water based black markers. If possible, collect one more washable water based black marker. So those are two markers, the black markers right there. All right. Um, it says, use one pen to create a message on a piece of thin paper to leave at the crime scene. All right. Hit. Write it heavily and thickly. All right. We got to leave a note. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're going we're gonna to get a note. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are going to create a message. We're going to put on, um, can't catch me. That's going to be on this piece of paper. You want to write that or you want me to do it? Yeah, which marker? Uh, anyone. Uh, yeah, use this one, I guess. Wait, does it say to use? Yeah, that one. I guess it's really better. Yeah, just write it. Um, write, can't catch me. And then what are we supposed to do? 
we'll find out after this. All right, guys, we got our message. Can't catch me. All right, well, y'all see it backwards. But yeah, just put a note, write down a note, and then we are going to go to the lab. Ready to go to the lab? Yeah. All right, guys, back at the lab now. So number one, cut out inky parts of the message, then chop them into tiny pieces. So we're going to have to cut this. Wait, it's just crumbled up? It does. Looks like it's crumbled. But anyway, all right. Now just uh, chop them into tiny pieces. All right, guys. He's chopping that into tiny pieces. Can't leave any evidence. None. Number two, guys. Put half a sample of tube of water into the tall cylinder and add the chop message. All right. There's the cylinder. And we got half, well, a little bit over half. We got big pieces of paper, though. So we're going to put that message inside the tube. You want to do that? Okay. I wonder what this is going to be. Drop it in there. And right. the other ones? Yeah. Oh, it's almost up the water, guys. That would have been good. Okay. That's it. Okay, guys. Step number three. Shake well. Um, for about a minute or until water goes as black as possible. Shake it up, 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 shake it up. Shake what it's got. Shake, shake, shake for a minute. Okay, we're going to give this a minute. That's the darkest we're going to get that. Yeah, it just turned purple immediately. I wonder if it's dissolving all the words off of it. Let's see. All right, step four. I'll cut out four strips of paper and put them safely away from water or inks. All right. I'm going to move this out the way, guys, because it says safely from water and ink. Okay, guys, step five. Write a label in pencil or waterproof pen at the top of one strip and label. We just, we just put note. On the top of the strip, we just put note, okay? Because that's going to be a note for us. All right, number six, carefully lean the strip in the inky water. It can touch the rim at the top, but not the sides. And wait. I think we're supposed to put less water in here. Uh, well, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right, guys, we have to rewind and go back to step two, okay? Sorry for... Uh, the screw up, but we had to screw something up. So this right here guys is the cylinder. Okay, and This is the Small tube that has to be filled halfway and you dump that right into the cylinder. All right, you want to do that? Okay. okay, we're gonna do it correctly guys and then we had cut out our notes again The can't catch me and now we have to put that inside that one over there. Hope, hopefully it's not big I'm trying to stuff it with these scissors yeah oh. okay there we go all right, guys, so sorry about that. We have to go all the way back. So, um, let me use this. Let me use this. So I won't put a hole in it. I don't want to put a hole in it. So. Okay, there you go. Now shake it. Hey, guys, okay, we're going to move on. Okay, step four was cutting the strips. All right, step five is writing the label on the strip, on one of the strips. All right, we got all right here. And we just labeled it note, okay? I think 
And then step six, hold on, not that way, hold on. Step six, carefully lean the strip in the inky water. It can touch the rim at the top, but not the sides. And wait. All right, guys. Step seven, while you wait, have filled the sample tube with water again for step 10. Okay, so we need another tube. And it says fill that again halfway. Uh, yeah, these tubes. I'm going to use it. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay. Oh, All right. He's going to fill the tube, okay? Or you can... All right, guys. Step eight. After 15 minutes, carefully take out the paper strip. It's been 15 minutes, so you can take that out. And it says, um, oh, step nine. Shake out the ink message into the trash. Okay, you want to go? Like the whole thing? Yeah, shake it out into the trash. And the ink? Yeah. Okay, guys, he's going to do that. Guys, make sure y'all guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, Professor Geo and Professor Daddy YouTube. Check out our videos. Hit the like button and the notification bell. Okay, guys, we reach step number 10. Then put the fresh second of water sample into the cylinder. It's okay, okay. if there's a little bit of ink Careful. in it. Right? Yep, it's okay if there's a little bit of ink. Yep. Then carefully lean the strip back into the cylinder. And then guys, it says step 11, after 20 minutes, take the strip and lean it up to dry. So after 20 minutes, guys, make sure y'all leave the strip up to dry, okay? Okay, y'all, for the next event for this activity we're doing, testing the suspect samples, okay? It is good, wait, it is a good idea to label your pens so you don't get the test mixed up, okay? So we got, oh no, it's pens markers. One, here, hold it. Wait, how do we label them? We got one, two, three markers, okay? And so where this? are the label tags? We just have the label tags, there they are. Yeah, the tags. All right, we're just going to label them A, B, and C. Uh, use a marker, though. Sure. Yeah. No, don't take it off yet. Just label it first. Okay. And then take them off. All right. So we just labeled our markers A, B, and C. A, okay. B, and C. So step two. On a new strip on the line, add a thick ink dot from each pen, which is markers that we're using. All right. New strip. Are we supposed to write ABC on the top? Yeah. With the marker or a pen? Or uh, a, pencil? a pencil. Okay. So we're going to label A, B, and C across the top of the strip. I got one. Make sure it's not on the little uh, folded side. Make sure the A, B, and C letters are on top of the unfolded side. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So he's, he did that. Now, right, ink dot press. press. So ink dot press at the bottom, guys. Okay. All right. So the ink dot press goes at the bottom of the folded side. Okay. Which one was that one? C. Okay. Wait, no, this would be sir. Let me see. Okay, guys, going back to step number 11. After 20 minutes, take out the strip and lean it up to dry. So we took out the strip, then we're going to lean it up to dry. I'm going to put it somewhere to dry this. Okay, guys, step three from the second activity. Uh, should I say second um, chapter, chapter, chapter <laughs> of chapters, this activity? Chapter two. Yeah. Story three. I don't know. Something like that. All right. Um, step three. Change the water in the cylinder and lean the suspect test strips inside. Okay. So he's going to go 
Oh, hold on. The water level should always be below the dots. So what we got to make sure the water level is below the dots. Hopefully that's below the dots. Let me see. Maybe oh, yeah, it is. It is? Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Um, hold on. Sorry, guys. After 20 minutes, oh, step four. After 20 minutes, take the paper strip out to dry. Now you should be able to see three different patterns depending on the pen manufacturing manufacturer black ink formula, okay? Okay, guys, so as y'all can see, the suspect um, samples, you start to see the three um, patterns forming. Can y'all see that? This is the suspect sample, the one that got A, B, and C on it. And the three patterns are forming, guys. It's really, you know, I can see that the light is hitting it, but y'all can see it's forming. Okay. We're going to catch us a bad guy today. We're going to catch you, bad guy. Okay, guys, 20 minutes is up. So, step five, compare the middle. To, oh, I said metal. Step five, compare the middle of the note strip to the suspect strip patterns. Watch it travels up the edges of the strip faster than the inside. So the message ink pattern is distorted. Okay, guys. Okay, it says, step five again. Compare the middle of the note strip to the suspect strip. Okay, this is the note strip, and this is the suspect strip. Okay, water travels up the edges of the strip faster than the inside. So the message ink pattern is distorted. Okay, it's going like that. For they as for they um note, it looks like pen A wrote the note from a from the criminal. Um, from ours, what you think? It looks like pen maybe pen B um, wrote the note from the criminal. I don't know. No, uh, it looks like A. A. Yeah. Yeah, A. I'm going to say A, too. So this is our A right there, guys. If y'all see that, A is the first line right there. And it's kind of compared with the same colors with this one. Because that's kind of, if y'all can't, y'all probably can't see it in the light, but from our perspective, it's kind of purplish. And from the criminal perspective, A is purplish, so... <clears throat> Um, that's our comparison. Uh, yep, we did identify our criminal pen correctly. Hint, it is the position, it is the position, presence, or not of, here, read that right there. It is the position, presence, or not of the colors that matters most, not, uh, not the shape or how bright they are. Hmm. Alright. Cut these. Alright, guys. Okay, guys, this says how does this work? The particles that make up liquids such as inks or blood or DNA samples each have a different size. Okay. Uh hmm. extra ideas. Uh, check the pigments in the candy coating on M&Ms or, or Skittles. Skittles. Oh, mix up the color blob using the other markers and separate them again. Oh, so you can also do these with M&Ms or Skittles, and I guess uh, you know, um, oh, this is weird. <laughs> I guess uh, just check the pigments on that. All right. All right, guys, so that's it for our YouTube channel. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Not it for our YouTube channel, but that's it for this video. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe and check out our 
other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. How about that? All right. Um, I'm Professor Dad, and this is Professor Gia. Until next time, guys, subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell.